That's my I think you said, like, I'm an ribbing film trainer. Have you done He speaks slightly differently and it's like try I just had to make choices about like what what were like defining features of each era and like particularly his accent. Like he loses his accent in New Orleans uh, in Dubai and then it's like slightly comes back when they get to Paris because he's so far away from home. Um, so he like brings it brings back his his Nola accent. Um, yeah, it's normally like vocal things and then like body language things. It's just basically just things that, that <laughs> differentiate us all. Collection of things. Yeah. Yeah. Like Blistart would probably do like as much as he possibly could. I think he would do like as much, yeah. And I think he would do, I think he would do some like, uh, like stuff like, I'll go and watch the sunrise down on the beach and then I'll go to the cafe and like, watch people like, you know, chat and laugh and look at each other and do that kind of stuff. And then he'd probably go, you know, like, yeah, he'd go and see nature. He'd do a lot of crazy stuff, but he'd also do all the things that a creature who hasn't seen the sun for 100 years would do. Yeah, I wish I could say he'd go and like trash some shit. Ice think cream he, party! Yeah, I think, he'd take, I think he'd take it quite seriously, to be honest, unfortunately. Yeah. I think Louis would, he would say, like, in anticipation, he would be like, I'm gonna go and see the the sunrise and I'm gonna like he'd say all of those things he'd say the same things as the start but actually he'd go and find like the shadiest part <laughs> wherever he was and sit in the dark and read probably mm. yeah I think at the most importantly I think at the end of the day they would be like no like send me back tonight yeah me and Sam actually, do you remember we had the conversation? I was yeah. like, I think Louis' song this year is Anti Hero by Taylor Swift. And then you were like, no, that's my song. <laughs> that's my song. I think you said, like, I'm a, a, a we're being filmed right now. <laughs> I just realized. What are you afraid of? <laughs> just say it. Say what you're going to say. I don't really know. I actually, I don't really know because, like, I don't. Um, if a song, like one specifically song, just describe the character. But I think maybe Fiona Apple, like a Fiona Apple yeah. song. Yeah. Maybe like a Criminal. I hey, <laughs> what surprised me most about this season? Um, I think lots of surprises. Think, do you know what? Roland has done an extraordinary job um, at doing the uh, direct translation, translation adaptation of part two of the book. And some of those elements which you really want to see, which are your favourite bits from part two of the book, are there, but they've been adapted in a very, very unique way. Yeah. And so I think that was one of the most surprising things. Like when you read them, you're like, you knew a specific scene or beat was coming, but you didn't know it was going to come in that way. Wow. And, you know, like the changes, when he makes a change, it's kind of confronting, but then you realise it really all does work out in the wash. So don't worry. Really does work. Out I was, I, mean, I was kind of to your point. I, mean, I was quite surprised by how much of the plot happens in Dubai this mm. year. Mm. Like, I, I think one of the things Rollins said at the end of season one was like, "I'm gonna really f you up in Dubai. Like, yeah. Louis's gonna be in a really messed up spot, and um, I don't really think I believed him." <laughs> and then. Yeah, it's pretty, you know, he's very, very f***ed up, he's gonna buy it, yeah.